That's pure gold right there. Made for you by the finest bees we could find. That honey, it might get you in some seriously sticky situations. So cool down, sit back and relax. And remember, pour yourself another. Jack Daniels, Tennessee Honey. It's as smooth as you think. What's up guys, how you doing? If you haven't been to my channel before, my name's Flip Scrub. I'd really love it if you subscribed. Um, today I'm here with David and we are filming a commercial for whiskey. Um, it's a spot commercial and it's for Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey. Um, we have the Jack Daniels bottle here, still closed. Um, because this is actually the last shot we're filming, but we're filming it first because we want the bottle like and the whole like scene to look really lush. Um, so we have the bottle, we have a little jar of honey, we have like the honey wand, and we have a um, whiskey glass with some fake ice cubes in there that I made myself. I will be making a film on that pretty soon. I've been working on perfecting ice cubes for a long time now. Um, we're filming it on the Sony a7 III with the 24 to 70 GM on an Eldercrone Slider Plus Pro Long um, with the steady module and the 4K monitor from Andy Cine. Um, right back here, when, we, when it comes to lighting, we have um, some spiffy lights just with some cooking paper on top just to cut down you know, those LEDs. Um, got one behind the bottle, right back, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right back here behind the black rack. We have the Young Noir um, YN360 version 3. Behind we have the newer 120cm um, softbox with a Godox SL60W behind it. Back here giving us a nice little warm light on this, um, it's actually a wooden headboard, um, is the um, newer 660 RGB. And um, that's about it when it comes to the lighting setup. Um, I got some really cheap stuff, so I got a board which I varnished with walnut kind of varnish. It was a pine board, it looked really nasty. And um, I thought it kind of all looks really nice together. We have this like black wrap just giving us kind of like little snoot of, um, of light here. And yeah, so we're going to film this first, last shot. And then we're going to start filming, you know, the honey, the glass, um, pouring whiskey. So we can make this, you know, really quick, nice commercial spot for you guys. Anyway. Say something about the whiskey that's actually inside the glass. Oh yeah, the whiskey inside the glass um, is actually, we didn't want to open the bottle because it's the last shot. So what it is, is literally just me getting some cold water, a little bit of warm water poured over the um, tea bag. And um, it came out, as you can see, the color of whiskey. And I did it just as long, right next to the bottle to see I'm getting the right color and it came out I gotta tell you guys, perfect. Um, so that is how you make fake whiskey. <laughs> okay, there we go. A little bit of smoke. Just gonna waft it around a little bit, just so it, just for, you know, atmospherics. Um, all right, and we have to just wait for a second for the whiskey to stop moving in the glass because um, we are on wooden floors here. And I'm gonna press record. And we're gonna very slowly pull back. And that's that. Now, um, the great thing with Eldercrone is that you can get this funky little thing that you can see on the end here. Can they see it? Yeah. Right here, this is the steady module. So what it has, it has a little kind of like motor inside that you click in and it just makes your movements very, very smooth. And sometimes if you click it in pretty hard, you have to push it really hard but the movement is consistent and very smooth, so for shots like this, it's absolutely delicious. Anyway, let's get to the next shot. We've got a bit of atmospheric smoke coming in here. Um, I've got the Elder Crone slider just a little bit closer, and um, I just want a close-up of the bottle, so I'm gonna have a little bit of the honey in shot, and we're just gonna zoom into the bottle. 
um, push in. Now I have the Sony on Super 35 on the 70 millimeter. So it's just that little bit closer. It looks really beautiful. And in we go. It is on autofocus. And we have the glass on the cutting board and David is literally just gonna put the honey down um, and that is gonna be the first shot. I'm gonna push him with the slider nice and smooth and as soon as he puts the honey down, the next shot is gonna be him dipping his um, <laughs> magic wand in the, <laughs> in the honey. Um, and so yeah, let's start. Right, you guys can't see me, but you can see David. Um, so what we're doing is I have the A7 um, III with the 2470GM on 15 millimeters, and I am on manual focus. So what David's gonna do is gonna dip his um, honey stick <laughs> into the honey, and I'm gonna be following his honey stick <laughs> as he pulls it out. <laughs> and <laughs> this is a difficult one. Um, right, let's see, we are filming in slow motion. And let's just get some focus on this honey stick. Right. And action. Right, now that we've kind of played around with the honey, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slam the bottle down onto the table. I'm gonna follow it. Um, and kind of have this, you know, cool, funky vibration at the end. And from there, we're going to chuck some ice in. And um, then we're going to pour in some of the um, honey. And then we're going to kind of swap it for pouring in the actual Jack Daniels. And that's how we're going to finish the um, shot. So right now, let's try this out. I've got my focus set. And three, two, one, go. And once more, in a sec, focus. Okay, and go. So what we're gonna do now is actually, David's gonna pour the um, Jack Daniels out. So grab the bottle, let's pour it out. And because we're gonna be pouring probably quite a bit, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it into this huge jug. And instead of the Jack Daniels right here, we're gonna pour in some tea. And it should look just like whiskey. Now remember guys, um, if you are planning on um, shooting for any company, um, your main product is meant to be your main product. So this should be Jack, um, otherwise you're gonna have some legal problems. But as we're just doing a quick commercial spot for YouTube, um, this is fine because we don't have the money to keep pouring out Jack. So yeah, Jack. Right, so now what we're doing is we're dropping the ice cubes in the glass, um, filming on slow motion. I'm using this piece of styrofoam to do a, a little parallax as um, it falls in. And yeah, that's about how this is gonna look. So let's try that out. Sick. By the way, this is my homemade ice. A sec, and go. Got it. I'll be easier. That's okay, that's okay. I think my homemade ice can handle it. We're gonna try that once more. But that did look pretty cool. And I hope the glass is gonna survive. I hope the ice is gonna survive. The ice is fine, come on. Okay, three. Wait a second. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay. Keeps three. Three, two, one, go. So for one of the last shots here, um, David's gonna be pouring in the whiskey again, and I want this to look really, really nice um, on 70 millimeters, super 35, just looking kind of up at the pour, and that's gonna look, you know, just delicious. So we're gonna try that now. Mm. 
Okay, go for it. Right, so for one of our last shots here, like kind of like a money shot, um, we have the bottle on the Elder Crone head one with the Elder Crone turntable, Aperture MC light, getting that nice kind of glow of the um, whiskey tea, um, the all new um, YM360, the newer 660 RGB, and we have the Slider One version 2 Pro right here. So if you guys watch this, this will pull out as the um, head one will spin, so this is what it should look like. And we're on macro, and it looks delicious as long as it keeps focus. Right, guys, so that was a lot of fun, a lot of work. It's just a kind of a simple, you know, um, commercial you know, spot, and um, you know, if you guys have any questions at all, any questions at all, about how we did it, the products we used, um, the techniques we used, you know, you just, um, you just drop that in the comments below, um, give us a like, and we'll be doing a lot more films together, David's one of my best friends, and he's actually Jeez. my daughter's um, godfather, and, um, you know, subscribe if you haven't, because that's you know, lots more cool stuff coming, so... Oh, wait a sec, guys. Cheers to you guys. Cheers. That's pure gold right there. Made for you by the finest bees we could find. That honey, it might get you in some seriously sticky situations. So cool down. Sit back and relax. And remember, pour yourself another. Jack Daniels, Tennessee Honey. It's as smooth as you think. <laughs>